Hey there. Have you ever been in a project where you're told that you need to do automation? So what do you do? You go about and you look at all your manual test cases and you automate them. Sounds logical, right? Well, in fact, there's good automation and there's bad automation. Well, maybe I should say there's cost effective automation and there's wasteful automation. And it turns out that if you're automating manual test cases, this is kind of in the second category. It's the worst possible approach you could take because automating manual test cases is really, really inefficient. It's not that even that effective at finding bugs. Exploratory testing is way better for that. It's only really good at finding regressions. And if you're aiming to automate regression tests after the fact, after your sprint's finished, after the code's built, then it's going to be really hard to be agile. It's going to be really hard to get features out quickly. It's going to be really hard to be competitive in today's industry. And it turns out there are way more effective ways to build up an automated regression pack, if that's what you're after, than writing code after the sprint is finished. And automating manual test cases, what just doesn't scale? Each new test can take as long as the previous one to write, even longer sometimes, and they get brittle, they break all the time. I'm sure you've had this sort of problem. If you're still writing manual test cases and then trying to automate them, or even if you're just writing manual automated test cases, as if they were manual test cases, then no wonder you're struggling. No wonder you're having problems keeping up the pace. If you want to do automation really effectively, if you want to do in-sprint automation, you've got to think smarter. You've got to flip things around. Don't be a slave to automation. Don't just blindly try to automate every test case. Automation should serve the team, not the other way around. For example, one team I worked with recently, they didn't automate a single manual test case. But what they did do was design and build a very tailored automation framework tailored to fit the business domain to a T. And when they finished the automation framework in the following week, they managed to automate 400 business scenarios, real world business scenarios that the business can relate to without adding a single line of code because what they did is they looked at automation differently. They wanted automation to serve the team. So if you do want to learn more about this approach, it, it takes more time than I have here to talk about, but have a look at the Agile Test Automation Playbook. There's a link underneath this video where you can download it. And there's a lot of really cool, useful information in there. So take a look and let me know what you think.